It's dedicated to Corrine Davis. See that? Dedicated to Corrine Davis. This is my, my skin in the game. Mike! Check! Can you hear me now? Yeah, this early voting at Morgan State University. I can't breathe, we can't vote. Ex felons got a right to vote. And we'll make sure that the message get out in 2020. 2021, whoever win the election got to see me, whether it be classic or quasi and fume, whether it be Trump or Biden, you got to see me. That's President Trump. He's been shielding this since 2019. That's President Trump. I've been doing this since 2006. Quasi and fume. Congressman Commies know about this. That's 2017. So if you win, you got to see me if you like it or not. Ex-felons got a right to vote and run for office. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and you selling this out. That's the Department of Justice. Dwayne G. Davis. Baltimore City, Baltimore County. Yeah, and attorney Mosby. You got a whistleblower's application and you ain't acted on it since 2019. Now you want to parade around with Lil Wayne and Ice Cube. No, I got first. Long before Lil Wayne came around, long before Ice Cube was thought about. We talking about this. I can't breathe, I can't vote. I ain't got nothing to do with this. This is artistic form of protest. I love that, but you know where to go vote? Yeah, straight up the hill. All right, straight up the hill. I can't breathe, we can't vote. Like I said, this is voter suppression, voter suppression by the Republican Party because you didn't act on the information that you had. That's Roland Martin, Kathleen Hughes, TV One. You got this too. You feel me? That's Nick Mosby. And we're talking about your prison industry right there. WJZ, consent to be videotaped, Spring Grove Medical Facilities. That's Nick Mosby right there. That's Adam May right there. And you've been sitting over this for over a year. Not only are you dishonest, you're a racist. And you supporting that racist behavior. I can't breathe, we can't vote. That goes for you too. Mike, check! That's not the change we need to have in Baltimore. 